Candid's board states provide options to track what has changed after PI planning. With start and sprint options, you will be able to track committed versus delivered sprint contents. Sprint start option will only be enabled after entering the tracking stage. The menu option next to the sprint names allows you to start a sprint for a single team. However, when you click the start sprint option at the program board, you will be able to start a sprint for all of the teams. The list shows Kenda's sprint name and in brackets, the corresponding Azure DevOps sprint name is visible. Starting or stopping a sprint at Kendis will not affect the sprint status in Azure DevOps. Once the sprint is started, committed load values will be visible by entering the analytics section and selecting the delivery by teams tab. Or after entering the team view by clicking the team name and hovering over the load option represented by an L. If your sprint is started accidentally or if you have some changes to add, you can always reset it. This will allow you to reset your baseline analytics for your sprint. When completing your sprint, be sure to end the sprint. This will have no impact on Azure DevOps sprint status. All stories moved to other sprints will be tracked as spillover, which can be seen in your analytics dashboard.